My daughter Kate and I have just woken up in one of the most delightful campsites that I've ever stayed at. We've wild camped on a riverbed near the South Luangwa National Park on our expedition in Zambia. We've been surrounded by animals all morning. It's day 10 and we are soon to enter the National Park itself in search of even more big game. This area along the Luangwa River abutting the Luangwa National Park. I'm actually not clear if you're actually allowed to wild camp here where we camped last night and but this whole area is so beautiful teeming with animals and why open I mean and I if one is allowed to wild camp here this would this is one of the most breathtaking wild camp spots left in southern Africa absolutely Absolutely amazing. And this tree is caked in mud. Uh, and this is from elephants. They would have rolled in the mud and then come and then scratch themselves against the tree. This is a typical elephant activity. And they have left a smooth layer of of. Uh, of mud on the tree. Look at that. Okay, here's an interesting thing. We're on our way to Flat Dogs Camp. Uh, got a car coming the opposite direction and an elephant. Um, so this is, a, this is the busy part. Uh, next to the town called Mfumi, which is the gateway to the South Luangwa National Park. The actual main gate is one kilometer that way. And there are a number of lodges and camps close to the river, close to Mfumi. And we're going to one of them. This is not a campsite. This is a lodge called Flat Dogs. I imagine named after wild dogs. That's my guess. But we uh, are going to be there for a couple of days. And that's where we're going to now. Perched on the banks of the Luangwa River itself is Flat Dogs Camp. Looks very nice. I was interested in these places and how they do bathrooms because that really is where they can be really creative. Now this barrier, you told us, was mainly a baboon barrier. There's the throne. and an open air shower. This should be very nice. And even so we are outside of the reserve. Animals abound. With the water level so low, they can cross, any animals can cross. And so at this time of year they have an abundance of going inside the camp. Uh, they have tents, they have chalets, they have, they cater well for self-drive travelers and uh, because self-drive travelers will most, many of them will self-cater so they cater for that as well. They used to be camping here but they found it was just too dangerous because of the, the elephants and the wildlife through the camp and even now they've said to me you know we've got to be very very careful but isn't that, isn't that beautiful? I'm looking forward to the sunset because that will make a spectacular picture. An African sunset and a storyteller. What more could we possibly ask for? So, the elephant, there's about five or eight guys. So it's fun there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. that's it, that's it. Oh, it's wrong to say that yes, that is agree, you know. So people in the village, they helping me say that, okay, no, this is my bag. Baboon is 
maybe my son, maybe they can dead with hunger. So that okay. So people in the villages they are dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Early in the morning, day eleven of our expedition through Zambia. We're at Fat Dog's camp on the banks of the Luangwa River, which is fast drying out. This is the beginning of the most critical part of the drying, dry season. Rains are a good month and a half, two months away. Very little water left, and in many, many areas of the park there is absolutely no water at all. So a lot of the animals have congregated to the riverbed. We're going out this morning into the national park itself. Uh, the camps, almost all of them, certainly the affordable ones as far as I'm concerned, are outside <coughs> the national parks so one doesn't pay the daily, the high daily fees. Uh, we will pay a fee to, to, to visit for the day uh, but we're going in search of some great game watching. <coughs> So we're inside the park, of course, inside the park you'll have a lot of other tourists in uh, game viewing vehicles. Um, it's, the, it, it's the way the camp is operated. They are promoting high budget tourists and don't really give too much credence to self-drive. It's considerably more, expo more expensive for a self-drive tourist to visit the park. Um, if we were on top of one of those vehicles, it would cost us $40, uh, the two of us, to spend the day in the park. Uh, with our own vehicles, it's $75, so it's quite a lot more, you know, so it's almost double. So they really are not too interested in the self-drive, but uh, it is accessible if you're willing to pay the price. South Luangwa National Park is the southernmost of the three national parks in the valley of the Luangwa River. It was founded as a game reserve in 1938 and became a national park in 1972. It covers a little over 9,000 square kilometers. These are African lovebirds. And this a sleeping hippo on land very, very dangerous is a sleeping hippo. The birds eating ticks off the impalas are red-billed oxpeckers. South Luangwa has a number of unique species. This is a Thornycroft's giraffe, sometimes called a Luangwa giraffe and even Rhodesian giraffe. It is considered to be geographically isolated, occurring only here in South Rangwa, with an estimated 1,500 live in the wild with no captive populations. They are unique, they have very long necks, dark coloured tongues and skin coloured horns. We are very lucky to see one. Another unique species is Crawshay's zebra, but an easy way to recognize a Crawshay is that it has particularly narrow stripes compared to other forms of zebra. <coughs> it's my birthday today. <clears throat> what a present, eh? A game drive like that. I can't think of a better way of spending a birthday. Back at uh, Flat Dog's camp, waiting for our fried breakfast. We're, the pampering, such as, it, as it's been, it ends today as we are heading not far from here, a place called Croc Valley. And um, we'll see what they have to offer. Uh, but what an amazing place. South Luanga really, I mean, it, this is not the best time of year to come here. And yet, this has been a highlight of my bush career. It is an amazingly beautiful place. Really, really. So we've got another couple of days here. Of all the camps <clears throat> in South Luangwa, this is probably the best known. It's called Croc Valley. It's, it's famous, in a way, for overlanders and travellers. Um, I'm not sure why it's so well known, 
but I'm determined to find out. We're here for two nights, first nights in their plush, tented, air-conditioned tented accommodation, and tomorrow night we're going to slum it by camping here. Do you know what I like about Crock Valley Camp? They haven't relegated campers and self-drivers to the back end somewhere. They, I mean, they have uh, facilities for everybody. They have luxury tents, they have a place for backpackers, uh, and they even have a place for overland trucks. But campers, I mean, this is the camping area. It's right on the riverfront. We're not relegated to the bush and, and we can't see anything and they've just kind of regarded us as second-class citizens. We have the same view as everybody else. We're part of the action, we're part of the community. Well, it looks like my birthday presents haven't come to an end. Crocodile Valley Camp has uh, graciously offered us a game drive and a night drive. And we're now with a professional guide. Berta has taken us to part of the park we haven't seen. Ay, it is glorious. It is a beautiful park. Of all the African parks I've been to, this, this is right close to the top of the list. When it comes to feeding habits, these are predominantly grazers, they just feed on grass and they always be very close to water. They're very water related animals. This is where staying at a lodge where they have game drives pays off. We wouldn't have known to have come here, and it's obviously a favourite spot for evening drinks overlooking the river. So it's not just you know, buying luxury when you spend extra, you're buying experiences as well. As night falls, the bush sounds change. Animals that normally hide up during the day come out to feed and we are going to go out and find some of them. <laughs> 